the stage is uh, it is the same of what we are used to, but it's a completely new stage. So it's the same as not the same you. again because we, we had to recreate a new uh, new stage for arena. Enjoy. Big Top we used to have the the mask. And they were part of the decoration of the big top, but here we had to do those big curtains that you can see. We have them on both sides. They're inspired by the Eiffel Tower. So if you have been in before, you see that it looks like the, the whole structure of the Eiffel Tower by, by close. We have the same polishinelles, which is the curtains that they come down. Um, it's the same one that we used to have on big top before. The train that is there the same as well. What is different is the whole strip that it's up there, the patients. Because before it used to be a curved one that was in the middle. And we had to recreate this one where we have four masts. They are not holding them, actually, they are being uh, held by the ceiling. So on Big Top, we used to, the artists to cross from, from one side to the other to the stage, they used to go under the bleachers on the Big Top. Right now, we have walls that they're not able to cross. So uh, we had to come up with a new system to go across under the stage. So, we're gonna see from the other side, but uh, if you take a look here, can you see this uh, this white mm -hmm. it's kind of slider? It's like a, a, a zip line where people will, will lay there and they will hold on these ropes and they're gonna be slided from one side to the other to the, to the stage. How long does it take to get from one side to the other? 30 seconds. 30 seconds and you can take up to 6 artists to cross. And we have 2 of them. We're gonna see the entrance on the other side, I'll show you. The patience is the same, we still have uh, 3 uh, dollies that are carried from one side to the other. One thing that is very different is the light system here, because before we used to have the spotlights on the on the mass of the big top but he is different it's new for for this show that we have trackers all the artists they have trackers on their shoulders and the costumes so wherever they go the light is following them and we're able that they always light up on stage musicians with uh, still the same we still have uh, uh, four uh, mus uh, musician speed Hi, and Mom. Bob here <laughs> And then one thing that will be different uh, from arena to arena is that some arenas they'll be higher, some of them will be lower. Uh, but and some of them we're gonna have to put the shirt uh, a bit lower. So this part of the curtain here, it can be taken out. And uh, when we are in arena that it's lower, uh, this stage we actually start here. To the inside. Nothing will be different. The show will be the same. Everything is the same. It's just the height that will be a little bit different. So we're gonna go, we still have two uh, backstages here, but now we have those big, cur big curtains on both sides. And this is one of, uh, one of the backstage, it's very similar to what it used to be on Big Top, but we have a bigger uh, space right now. One thing that unique about this the, this format of Corteo, this is just the crossover machine I was talking about. So this is what they use to cross uh, from one side to the other to the stage. We thought about many different things that we could use for that, and this was the best option that we had uh, because the artists they would come here, they would have a type of robe they put on on top of their costume. They're gonna lay like this, and this is this, this special zip line that will be rolling and they will just hold like this and it will slide them to the other side of the stage we have like two lines you can see that we have one of the technicians down the other side I can put some light here for and it goes into the other side and usually this one we have like a red light here so it shows that it's coming from that way and the other side we have a green one we have our walking shoes, walking ghost shoes. It's one of my favorite part of the show where we have those shoes just walking by themselves. We have our angels, our horses from the big top. The uh, grand angels, you might recognize them. The grand angels that go from the one side to the other. Alright, so here we are on the other side of uh, the other part of the backstage. We have a, a 
red carpet where they go to warm up and they get ready for the stage and where the color up everything that's happening on stage. It's very similar to what uh, we used to have in a, the big top in the artistic tent. Uh, it's a bit bigger. But we still have the red carpet and uh, in the big top before we used to have a tunnel that used to connect the big top to the artistic tent where we used to have the beds and right now they, they have uh, they still stay uh, remain on this area. One good thing that I one thing that I love about Cortez is that we're keeping the flags that represent all the, sh the all the nationalities that we have on the show. Only on stage I think one artist from 17. the ones that they are used by all the artists. So, so how many are, are being used? 51. 51. For all the artists. So each one of them, uh, before they go on stage, they come here with our lighting technicians that they place it and they go. So we make sure that we're going to have all of them light up. So like for example, uh, you have some of the some people who have been in the show previously when they're returning, do they create totally new costumes for them or...? Yes, uh, because most of the costumes they had to be readapted for arena because we wash them uh, just like Big Top but it's more intense, the, the, the arena style. So to make sure that all the costumes they would survive to this new lifestyle, we had to recreate all of them. You're gonna see the same, visually they look the same, but if you take a... Uh, closer look on them, you can see that some of them they're painted instead of uh, the natural natural fabric. So technically all the costumes are new, just not necessarily new designs. Yes, they are new but not new design. The same for the the same for the, the angels as well, uh, the big dresses, uh, they used to be in a different material and ran out to make sure they survived uh, to this intense uh, lifestyle we had to adapt them. The, the angels wings was to have the same ones from, from Big Top. Uh, the curtains that we have, the Polishinellas, it's the one for Big Top. There are a few things that uh, still remain the same. Some of the artists we still have for the Big Top. Yeah, we know each other. <laughs> Sasha. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> so here uh, we have a wardrobe team. Uh, we still travel with four full-time employees and we hire two people every city we go to help us uh, know the maintenance of the costume. Uh, right there, you see where the ladies are. We have our painting uh, shoe, uh, painting station because uh, the shoes they raise the the paint a lot, just like our regular shoes, and they need to be retouched every week to make sure that they look pretty and perfect as it was the first time they are being used. Uh, they are a bit different from what it used to be. Uh, because in arena we need to make sure that people can see clearly all the makeup and expressions of uh, the artists on stage. So the, they are they are they are a bit different from what it used to be, but we still keep the same essence. They like some small details on the makeup they will be able to see. But arena is not different. The guys still do the makeup. Uh, I still the same. To be honest, they even help more. How long was the creation process, the recreation process? The recreation process, it was over a year, I would say. Uh, for over a year, we had everyone working in Montreal on the technical aspect of the show. And then last year, last September, all the artists started to arrive. And then they have been training since September until uh, now, uh, February. Do you know how many artists from the Big Top returned to the 25. show? 25. 25 artists from before. Are there any new acts on the show? Yes, we have suspended pole, uh, which is something similar to a pole dance, but it will be suspended and fly just like that, flying over the stage. It is amazing, amazing. When I saw the, the, the rehearsal in Montreal for the first time, I was shocked. And I'm used to Cirque du Soleil, this is my fourth show, but when I saw it, it was, it was beautiful. You're gonna see tonight, she is amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, are there any changes musically? 
No, actually the, the, the length of the show, because in Arena we have a two hour show with 20 minutes intermission. So some of the act, they have a, a small change on, on, the, on the length of the, the act, so they're just a bit shorter to be able to accommodate everything. For example, we have a transition act called Kleisman, where we have lots of the characters going everywhere and have ballerinas. Actually, we have one of the dresses here from the ballerinas going everywhere. We used to have only one, and now we have two of the Kleisman uh, act. But it's, it's, it's the essence of the show is pretty much the same. Farce Court is one of the biggest touring Cirque du Soleil productions. And it's very different from any other show where you're gonna see, you have this feeling of traditional circus, but also with the Cirque du Soleil touch that you see on that. You're gonna see real people performing that act. And uh, during the show, even for us, even for me, that I see the show pretty much every week, uh, I still feel a bit emotional when you see the show. There are some moments that you're gonna see you're gonna feel lots of excitement. There will be moments that you feel breathless because of the, of, of the act, and there are, mom, there are moments that you feel a bit of nostalgia. So for me, the music it's beautiful. It's one of the best soundtrack uh, of Circus Soleil, in my opinion. Uh, the act itself, the way that everything was put together, makes this show very, very, very unique. And so if you have seen Cortel before, you still you will see the same of the same of Cortel, but it will be a different experience and the arena everything makes it bigger and and wider the whole structure outside the, whole, the, the curtain when I arrived at the, when I saw for the first time when I went to the headquarters and I saw the whole structure that just came from Varakai for me Varakai was already big all the trees and etc the forest for me was beautiful and when I arrived on, on Cortel Montreal I was like whoa Whoa. And I was so proud to be part of this show and everyone here is super happy and excited. So if you have seen before, uh, you see a different uh, side, you're going to have a, a different side of, of, of Corteo. Uh, but if you have never seen, you're going to be amazed uh, as you would be if you have seen it in Big Top as well.